Hello my scrappy friends, it is Jess here from the Scrappy Sisters and thank you for joining me for a Kidaholics Kits design team layout. So I have started this layout with a pre-made Vicky Booten background and I am adding some of the super cute bronze washi tape just around the edge to make a little border. It's not flush up against the edge of the page, there is a little bit of white space before the border starts. Now in a minute, I am going to introduce to you my little dragon friend that I have created. Now I have created him original to me, but he is 100%. In fact, this entire layout is 100% inspired by the incredible creator, Lisa Fonseca. I think that's how you pronounce her surname. I am sorry if I got that incorrect. She is absolutely freaking amazing. Uh, she just does the most amazing creations and in particular, I absolutely adore her little critters that she makes and puts on her pages. Now she has never specifically made a dragon, uh, so this layout is not an exact scrap lift of hers, but it is definitely just a scrap lift of her style. This was 100% me scrolling through her entire Instagram page and just feeling all of the creative amazingness flow into me and then copy that or re-represent that myself on my own page. So absolutely go and check her out because she is incredible and this layout is just all her. So I started off by making my own little critter, um, popped, it, popped a few of the little bits up on foam just to add a little bit of dimension, went around the outside of the different body parts with my black texture. All of that is just what she does. It is definitely not um, just my own original idea in any way, shape or form. Uh, I am super happy with him. I think he is so cute. If I was going to do him again, I'd make him just a smidge smaller. He is a teeny bit big, but we live and we learn. So I have also had, I had three photos, three by four size, and I cut them down to be approximately three inches by three inches square and stuck them all together in, a, in that row, kind of like a phone booth, a phone booth, photo booth sort of style look there. Um, and they're my three photos on this layout. I, I must admit, I did find it a little bit tricky to fit all three photos on uh, because my little dragon was a little bit big. But in the end, I think cutting them down to this size did the trick. Now, just like Lisa does, I am adding a bunch of little florals. I'm not going too crazy with the florals because this is a boy's layout, but adding a bunch of little florals just in three strategic places here, diagonally across the page. She absolutely does this uh, and it works really, really well. And this kit had just a whole entire pack of florals. So it was screaming at me to use them on this layout. I was fiddling around with where to put this last one. I really couldn't decide, but in the end, I go with popping him there, a little bit on the photo and a little bit on the monster's arm. I was going to fill that little triangle of space in between the head and neck of the monster and the photographs, but I didn't want to cover up the other wing. I went to so much trouble to make all the parts that I wanted to keep them visible. So once I've put all of these little cute little bits of floral on, I'm going to pull out the sticker sheet and get to playing with a few of the bits and pieces that came in the sticker sheet. Um, this little monster was made using just two sheets of the 12 by 12 paper um, and I cut him all out by freehand, stuck him all together. Uh, I did sketch him out on just copy paper first to sort of give me the template of all the little bits and pieces that I needed but he is all just from my head. I did find a picture on the internet of a cute dragon to be inspired by, um, but mostly I just kind of copied the style um, of Lisa's ones and just rolled with it from there. Uh, he is not exactly the same as the dragon in the photos, but the dragon in the photos is a real traditional style dragon and I wanted this one to be cuter. So as you can see, I'm now popping on some butterflies and some ladybugs and I'll get a little bee out in a minute as well, just adding to those little clusters that are already on the page. I don't think this layout needs too much um, embellishment because there's a lot going on with just having the big gigantic dragon sitting in the middle there. Pop on some word phrases and really just keep it simple now because it's so busy, like there is so much going on. Um, I've got my title, You Are Rawsome. 
uh, just because I liked the little pun and the play on words there. I thought that was cute. I am going to put it across the dragon's mouth. I was really unsure if this was the right place to go, but I've done it now, so I'm just rolling with it. I kind of wanted to look like it was um, like the dragon was roaring. It was coming out of his mouth. Uh, but my text was a little bit big. The raw sum was a little bit big. So anyway, it is what it is. It's there now. It looks fine. I'm going to roll with it. So once I have finished all that, I am going to get some of the Nouveau drops that came in the kit and add a few little clusters of those little drops in sort of little blocks of three, kind of like you might do with enamel dots. But of course, because they're a lot smaller and I have an, unli well, not an unlimited supply, but a big supply, I can put on lots of them, which is fun. Uh, I'm using two from the kit that we got this month, the, this the first one which is the pink one and this kind of tealy one and then I've also pulled my black and my gold from my stash just because I thought those colors kind of went well with what's going on on the page I know I used copper around the edge of the page so gold may have been a weird choice but it, it kind of works you don't really notice <laughs> I've done it now anyway um I actually didn't really think about it I have a copper oh well whatever the things you think of when you're voiceovering and you really analyze everything that you do. At the time I was just making and I just pulled out the gold. Uh, black is probably my favorite because it is subtle but it is uh, like it, you can make it so little but it stands out so I love that. And now of course I'm just finishing off with a little bit of splatters. I didn't want to go too crazy with the splatters so just a little bit of gold and a little bit of black and here is my finished layout. I think it is super, super cute. I love my little critter. Um, so thank you, Lisa, for always sharing and inspiring and creating because it certainly helped get me out of the funk that I was in this month. Uh, I hope you have enjoyed following along with this layout and I cannot wait to share the rest of my layouts with you this month.